What is up everybody, Bobby here at the Nintendo Guru, and today I decided to do an island tour. It's coming the end of April, and we're almost one month in to Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I felt like this was the perfect time to sit down, do an island tour. I'm not even sure what my island rating is at this moment. I believe it's a four, but we're going to go take a look. We're going to talk to Isabel and grade it. I'm 165 hours into this game, still loving it, still tearing it apart. My island is nowhere near complete. I still have to do a lot more. There's a lot of things I want to add to the island. But for the most part, I feel like it's in pretty good condition that I could show it off and, and take some time to show you guys. So here we are. We're at the airport. And obviously, I'm just here to pick you guys up at the airport and take you for a tour. So let's go. something Batman Arkham related. Why not Harley Quinn? Why not a flag of Harley Quinn? So you start off, you see that right there. Come through, I have this little stone archway here. Uh, this is Han's house. Let's, matter of fact, let's take a look and see who is in my house or in my island. Hans, there's Hans, amazing character. I like Hans a lot. Rocco lives right next door to me. Uh, Sly, he's over off by himself. Muffy is down here to the left of Hans. Bill, my boy, he is behind Town Hall. Um, we have Tipper, who I actually moved a couple days ago to the other side of the island. She was actually on the right side of the island. Sherb, awesome character, Sherb. I like him a lot. Then we have Wendy, which, eh, she's okay, but whatever. Just picked up Annalise, so we're gonna pop in and say hello to her today, because she's in boxes. She's just arriving. I found her on an island. And then, we have Gail, which I'm not really a fan of Gail, but whatever. It is what it is. So here we go. Let's jump back in. And here's Hans. You come in to the town. First thing to set it off, I felt, was I put a fountain right here in the centerpiece. But I didn't want to just drop the fountain. I felt like, let's take it a step further. Let's do a little more to this. And basically, I did a bigger walkway around the outside. And obviously, I put these planters on the inside. One thing that you'll notice throughout... A lot of the theme is I'm either have flowers planted on the sides of the paths or I'm in the process of putting flowers there. Um, so that's something. I got this wooden duck here because I thought it would be kind of cool to have like a quasi realistic duck kind of there like in the... Because when you would go to a fountain, you would typically see ducks. So that was why I put it there. I have a, uh, a turnip here, which I want to go bad. I want the turnip to go bad so I can catch ants this Sunday. Uh, in the inside of my town square, I put the brick wall around the out the whole outside of the town square. But then I also lined it with hybrids inside and outside. Let's pop in real quick. Let's talk to Isabel. Let's see what the town rating is. So we're still a four star, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm I'm not in a rush to get where I have to be. We're just going to just, you know, get there when we get there. Because I don't want to cram the island. I want the island to look and feel good. There's a lot of people I know that are that are five stars. But the, everything is just a mishmash. And they've just crammed a lot of stuff on the island. I want my island to make sense. I want things to just work and flow and just be better overall. So let's just jump back out here and we'll continue the tour. Okay, so we're going to exit to the right here. of the. And, and as you can see, this is just basically a walk around. This will take you back to the fountain. So I just wanted to show you that's where that goes there. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about and I want to discuss is I made a little makeshift cafe. Uh, I took my time. Got this nice little cherry blossom bonsai tree here. I got the table here with the sugar and the creamer. The trash pail here. Then we have the espresso maker, which let's just pop that on and make that go. Uh, and we have the grinder. The grind the coffee beans. And this sign, which my community is amazing. These people are just giving me stuff when they feel like it fits and it, it, it fits good. I believe Spoopy gave me this, so thank you, Spoopy, for this. Uh, we're gonna come back here, we're gonna pop in and say hello to Annalise, the newcomer to the town. Here's Annalise, she's in boxes, she just got here yesterday. Pretty awesome, she's a really cute character. I like her a lot. I am so glad that I was able to find her on an island tour. My last island tour, I ran out of Nook Miles. I could not buy any more island tours. And this was the last one, so it was pretty awesome to get her. I know she's a pretty popular character. 
Okay, and this is my boy Bill. He lives here. I put the fishing stuff from the fishing tournament up here in his house to give the feel like, you know, he's a fisherman and he's out here, has all his stuff out there. All right, let's jump over this bridge here. And then this is the, one of the things that is not finished. I, on the left side, I'm really not that far along. So I just wanted to pop in here real quick, show you guys some stuff where I am kind of getting there, but still have a lot to do. And I kind of had this theme, as you'll see, as we go on the either side of the bridge, I like to have this little like street light, street lamp, um, and then like little benches there with the wooden benches on either side. And this is the way I kind of do this whole thing and it's the way it's been the whole time. So we're gonna do something real quick. We're just gonna take the ladder up. Oh, there's a bottle here. Let's grab the bottle first. So I don't lose that. We're gonna take the ladder up to my house and uh, it's not the ladder. We're gonna take this ladder and we're gonna go up to the house through the woods and I'm not really gonna go in my house because it's not anything decorated up. But the nice thing is, is what I've started doing is putting black and pink hybrids in the flower bed around the outside of the house. I wanted this area because I wanted a bigger area to kind of do things. On the right hand side, I have these garden lights that are here. I love these lights. Uh, I got the barbecue going with the chair and I got the fishing rod and the hose. I got the uh, pizza oven over here with another chair and a smoker over here which is kind of cool. Smoker smokes a little bit when you open it up. Pretty neat. Okay, so then over here is where Rocco lives and eventually I'm gonna move Rocco out and then move Bill in. We're gonna get Rocco out of here. We're gonna just move his house and put Bill up here. We're gonna skip this area for the time being and come around because I wanna show this in, a, in the proper fashion. But we come back down. Here is the bridge that we came over in and then we're going to run across real quick to the other side of the island. Here is the coffee shop again then we come across we're going to cross over the island and again bench street light bench street light got the little beach chair out here or not the beach chair but the lifeguard chair out here and uh and this is is this sly yeah this is sly's house so sly i just basically decorated this tonight got it all nice and set up because i really want this side of the island to get almost to the point where it's finished we have a campsite up here to the right, and this is where it gets kind of cool. This is where, I'm not gonna lie, this is, this is where it kind of gets pretty neat. So this is kind of my grand entrance to everything. This is the thing that I wanted the best to be, the, the spectacle, everything to kind of flow off of here. And we start with the museum. So I have two waterfalls here. Let's see what Sheriff has to say real quick. Guess what? I got something special for you today. It's a present here. Take it. Okay, thanks Sherb. You're interrupting the farmer overall. Okay, you're, you're interrupting the tour, Sherb. We got people that are here and they want to see something exciting. Let's go. So we got the first fountain here, which I am going to replace this fountain at some point, hopefully with a T-Rex um, fossil. It would be really cool to have that. Joshua, he basically, another viewer got me, he built these like gargoyle looking things here to the right and the left. Another fountain up here, but then the fossil to the left as you can see. And then the museum, we come over, there's the clock. There's some fossils out here. We have uh, the cherry blossom rock down below with the waterfall to the right. As you can see this waterfall area, we're gonna go back to the left in a second, but I wanted to do this little tranquil little uh, pond in, in, the, in, the, in the logs. We also, let's just jump down here real quick because I have a lighthouse out here that I want to show off and, and let you guys see. The lighthouse is pretty spectacular, especially at night when it lights up and all that stuff. I'll have to get that later, that sparkling little beautiful thing there. Basically, we have all this, right? Now, let's just, this is what we'll do. We'll come down here. We're going to jump back across. And I created these little seating areas where you can kind of chill out and look at the waterfall and the rocks and everything. And it's, it's very peaceful pretty awesome i love this whole setup that i have going on over here but then on the left hand side we did the same thing somewhat but tonight i added something amazing which is a fossil and uh it's just so majestic when you sit here now and you have the fossil here it'll be lit up at night i love it it just gives this whole mystique i'm going to get floor lights to run across the front probably eventually but for now um I just love it. I love the whole thing. I love the whole atmosphere. I love what we have going on here. It's just, it's just so awesome. So now we go to where I did a plaza and the shopping. I want to explain this real quickly before we make our way over there. I love New Leaf. I love the fact that in New Leaf, when you went up above the, the town, was everything set up in a city fashion. And I wanted to give that same feel and vibe here, but in a grander 
experience. And that's what I feel like we kind of accomplished a little bit with the museum. But I wanted to carry that on with the, the shopping center. So we start off and we have the Able Sisters here. I put a fountain out front here, like a wishing well fountain here. And then I, I wanted to have something kind of cool when you walk across, rather than a bridge, I did this little walkway path and I have flowers, roses all over, which this is basically set up to grow hybrids. This is where I get a lot of my black roses from um, pretty much on the daily. I water all these and they pop up, but I get the two waterfalls up front, the one big one in the back. I love it. And then you come over here, here's Nook's Cranny, which has not upgraded yet. And I'm a little annoyed about that. We're not gonna talk about that. Um, and then we finish it off with the Leaning Tower of Pisa statue. And this is it in a nutshell. This is basically my town, my tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if there's any questions you have, please leave them in the comments down below. I am so far got a lot more to do and I don't feel like I'm anywhere near the end of this thing. And hopefully we'll get there at some point and just knock it out the park and have this five-star town and get the gold water can right off into the sunset. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching today's island tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back hopefully next month with another island tour, hopefully a little bit further along. Please be sure to follow me Instagram, Twitter, and on Twitch at Nintendo Gurus. Do me a favor, if you liked the video, please like it down below, share it with your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. For now, that is all. Peace out, Preston.